This is one small step for man, <clears throat> one giant leap for Schoolie Nation. Schoolie Nation. guys so this is the new start to a new project today jake is going to be working on grinding off the bolts and nails that are stuck on the ground i'm gonna go ahead and tackle that with an angle grinder yes a lot of batteries and these guns bam bam <laughs> the first step of prepping the floors is going to be grinding off all of the, the uh, leftover stuff that doesn't come out the bolts other way this is what they look like this is what will be the focus point of all the things that we whole sawed out literally don't come out any other way There's been a development. A development. So we are done with all of that floor back there while Jake is done grinding all of the bolts. But basically we're just prepping the floor to be able to do the wire brush and get the rust off. I was trying to use the other grinder to help, but the issue is the batteries die. Like in 10 minutes. So that's actually why we got this wired one. Yeah, right we got now. a wired grinder. We got this wired so that way it doesn't overheat and we can keep on going without compromise. I've really done a lot of work. Step by step, follow the process. Follow the process. How's it going? Good? Almost done? Okay. Today is grind time. Grind time! All we have to do is grind the rust off of the floor. We are literally just have to grind. Just have to grind. So something to keep in mind is when we're focusing on the floor of our bus, it's the equivalent to the foundation of a house. We wanted to make sure that when we're building our bus, that the floor doesn't rot or rust and will last us at least 10 years. So what we need to do is really get down to the base floor so that we can build back up because this is the most important step and the floors have been the death of us. But Horrible. this is the last step and you can bet your ass that we are not going to half ass the last step. This is the last part of demolition so we gotta take it all in because from here on out we're gonna be building this bitch up. What? So we decided to bust out our fan because all the rust just blows out this way, which makes it better for the air circulation. So we upgraded because our flap discs were from Amazon and they are shit. This is the original size of the ones we got that we were working with. They're also like a non-brand. But this is what we upgraded to. It's... Triple the size. Just so we can work on more surface area ones. We've done something. Mm -hmm. Something negative. So basically, when I tried the new grinder wheel, it was really strong and it backfired towards my leg. Ah, uh, let me see, let me see. Dude, look at that white part. Oh my God. Oh yeah. It really hurts actually. Oh yeah. All right, I'm gonna take care of her. So we're back at the bus. Jake is doing a little Starbucks power up. I am out of commission for a little bit because my little leggy leg got hurt. As you know, with that graphic content. Jake just got off work and it was his idea to come straight to the bus and work. So thanks babe, props to you. We are now gonna try using the wire wheel just because this is not enough. So we're gonna try the wire wheel, which apparently takes longer, but we're here to create a good foundation and whatever it takes is what it takes. back at the bus with another floor prep day to get ready to put rust oleum down on our floor. Obviously you saw us cut off all of the protrusions on the ground. 
Then we went in with a wire wheel brush. We went over the entire floor two times, as well as once with the flap disc. Mm -hmm. Then we decided to sand the bus floor, which isn't necessary, but for us, we wanted to create a rough surface for paint to stick to. Now we're gonna be moving on to the cleaning part. So we're gonna use this loop floor right here. We're gonna go top to bottom. We're gonna literally blow the roof, then the window seals, and the cracks and the crevices that we can't see. It's very important, nothing is left. Then we're gonna use some basic pine saw to clean the first layer of stuff. Then we're gonna do that once or twice. Then we're finally gonna get to the degreasing and rust converting process. All right, so we'll see you on the next clip. So, something that is important to mention is this is the current state of our floor right now. I know it looks um, like the rust all isn't gone, but all the heavy rust that's caked on the top layers, we completely removed it. So for anybody who's also doing this and looking for clues as to what they need to have their bus floor look like, this is where we decided to stop. Obviously you can keep going if you feel like keep going, but we got enough validation and confirmation that this is a-okay. Essentially, as long as it's shiny, kind of like that, you see how the light's glaring on through that's a good way to know that you're pretty much there okay guys so we blew out the bus a few times we got the broom dusted the roof and yep. the walls got that extra insulation out now it's time to clean so we're gonna pump up the jams 80s cleaning montage let's go just finished with the cleaning part and right. now we are going to take a small break and then we're gonna degrease and get that clean strip down my fingers are all pruney uh it just got wet the whole time that's just proof that we did the work yeah right so we're sitting here with some crud cutter it is um environmentally conscious so we spent a little bit more money got that more expensive one because i don't know if you guys know but we've been trying to just be as eco-friendly as possible yeah. in building out this bus so any alternative like this we've been doing yes and it's also made by rust-oleum so it's compatible with the rust-oleum we will be using uh, in a few days hopefully so we're just going to cut that with some water and we're going to scrub it on the floor with that big oh, blue brush something. back there yep so let's so, get started uh, let's get started Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, mixing. All right, so we switched brims to get more the uh, tight corner area. So now I'm just working under this dashboard very cautiously not to get anything wet where it doesn't belong wet. I think we're gonna do two coats. We're gonna figure that out as we go. Today we're doing one coat. Tomorrow we'll come back, see what happens, and we'll see if we need a second one. After three hours of cleaning. Yep, and a, and a successful snack break, back to work. Back to work. Boom.
right, Jacob is just finishing up the last bit of the flooring right now. Everybody bear witness this little square. Lost uh, area, look at, look at the bus. This reptar looking figure. Look at it. Doesn't it look great? Wow. Look, I'm right here. Do it. Done. Very nice.